Babalaik ng Junior Pogs. My real name is Kevin Babalaik. To tell something about me, I'm a licensed civil engineer, licensed master plumber, and accredited materials engineer. As of speaking, I'm practicing my profession for 8 years. However, throughout those years, I've been through a lot of disappointment, confusion, and despair moments. I also came to the point that I am even questioning myself. Am I on the right track of my career? There are also times I am losing my faith in myself because it seems I am still not at the peak of my career. But in the process, hard work is not just enough because real life skills must also be valued. With that, let me share 7 tips that might be helpful for you to grow in your profession. Number 1, invest in knowledge. Akala mo pagka-graduate o pagkapasa mo ng board exam ay tapos na ang paghihirap mo sa pag-aaral. Yung tipong gusto mo na itapon lahat ng formula sa sobrang stress. But, in life, learning is a never-ending process. Kailangan, magkaroon ka ng edge sa iba. You need to be competitive and establish your credentials. Like improving your skills through participating in trainings, attending seminars, getting vocational courses, or even taking a master's degree with a specific specialization para meron kang pat na sinusundan sa karir mo. Kagaya ng palagi sinasabi sa akin ni na Engineer Manuel, Engineer Reyes, at Engineer Catalina nung nagsisimula pa lamang ako, Anak, mag-aral ka lang na mag-aral habang bata ka pa. There are the ones who always motivate me kapag nahirapan ako kasi yun yung palagi nilang habilin sa akin. They became not just co-employees, but they've been second parents who always look after for the path that I am about to take. It has no difference with the common question asked on a usual job interview. What is your edge among other applicants? Why we should hire you? In view of that, let your credentials speak for yourself. Dahil minsan, yung opportunity mismo ang kus ng kakatok sa pintuan ng karir mo. I learned this when I broke up with my ex, who is a chemical engineer. We just passed the board examination when we split together. Kasi gusto niya muna mag-focus sa karila niya. Bata pa kami nun at madami pa kaming maaaring ma-achieve. That's why after we broke up, I did the same thing. Masakit, pero mas nakita kong nag-grow ako sa career ko. May sinabi sa akin yung isang engineer na talagang tumatak sa akin. Kapag may nagtanong sa'yo na kung kaya mo bang gawin to, don't say no. Instead, pag-aralan mo kung paano yun gawin. Dahil dun tayo mas natututo. Sometimes, we are the ones who puts limits in the things that we can do. The world is continuously changing. Kung hindi ka sasabay sa pagbabago, mapag-iwanan ka. Number two, know your priorities. Tanungin mo yung sarili mo, ano ba ang mga priority mo sa buhay? At ano-ano ba ang kaya mo i-sacrifice para maabot yun? When we are starting our career, nandun yung eagerness natin to learn new things and our dedication to grow professionally. There are a lot of situations na kailangan natin gumawa ng desisyon. Kung saan, kailangan mong timbangin mabuti kung alin ba ang dapat mong piliin. Yan ang isa sa pinakamahirap gawin, ang mag -desisyon. Dahil meron tayong mga bagay na hindi kayang baitawan. Kaya dapat, sa simula pa lang, clear na sa'yo kung ano ba dapat ang mga priority mo. Sometimes, being successful in our career is about kung hanggang saan ang kaya nating i-sacrifice even our personal happiness. After I graduated college, nag-take ako agad ng master's. Pagkatapos, ay dinerecho ko ng doctorate. While doing that, sinabayan ko ng pag-take ng master plumber at materials engineer. Yung lahat ng panahon na ginugol ko sa pag-aaral, nawalan na ako ng oras sa pamilya ko, sa sarili ko. Kaya eto, 29 na ako, single pa din. Hindi naranasang magkaroon ng seryosong relasyon. Kasi eto yung naging priority ko eh, yung karir ko. Eto lang kasi yung alam ko na paraan para makatulong sa pamilya ko. Sa Pilipinas, kailangan mong kumayod ng kumayod para kumita ng malaki-laki. Kaya hindi natin masisisi yung mga nangingibang bansa. Kahit ako, ilang beses ko na din sinubukan mag-apply sa abroad. Pero hindi ko kayang malayo sa pamilya ko. Sa sobrang dami kong utang na panahon na hindi sila kasama, kahit paano, may celebrate ko man lang yung mga importanteng okasyon na kasama sila. Eight years and counting in my profession before I achieve the different professional titles that I have. 
marami akong sinakripisyo. Yun yung hindi nakita ng iba. Akala nila ang dali para sa'yo na nakuha kung ano yung meron ka. Sometimes, people think you don't deserve it because they saw you the other way around. Number three, have a mentor. Isa sa naging struggle ko, wala talagang nag-guide sa akin all throughout my hardships. Kaya nagpalipat-lipat ako ng trabaho. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang gusto ko. Hindi ko alam kung para saan ako. Nakuha ko naman yung mga goals ko. Yun nga lang, I found out na if there is someone who you would call a mentor, pwede mo makuha yung mga goals mo na mas mabilis at sa mas effective na paraan so that you can achieve more. Let your mentor guide you para ma-achieve mo yung mga career goals mo. Have a mentor who is seasoned through time and has credentials in your field. Who you always look at to be him someday and who will help you grow and who will help to bring out the best in you. I have this my former student who is very dedicated and eager to learn. So I share to him how I achieve everything. And he achieved the same thing as mine but in a short span of time. Nakakataba ng puso kapag nakikita natin na nagiging party tayo ng pagbabago ng buhay ng ibang tao. Number four, build your network. In your profession, expanding your network to a lot of individuals helps you to grow in a lot of different aspects. Try to involve yourself in different professional organizations and socialize in different professional gatherings like seminars and trainings. One of the good practices to expand your network is to have friends that you get along with. Dahil ako mismo, marami akong naging friends na sa professional gatherings ko lang nakilala. You'll never know at what part of your life you'll be needing each other. There are a lot of information you'll be needing someday na hindi mo basta-basta masasearch sa internet na maaari sa circles of your network mo lang nakuha. Huwag mo pangunahan na isipin agad yung gastos kasi party talaga yan ang profession mo. Just think of the benefits of acquiring new knowledge and new friends. Number 5. Have a professional talk. As and share, Marami kang mga bagay na matutunan from your co-professionals straight from their own experiences. Sabi nga, experience is the best teacher. And in return, i-share mo din yung mga alam mo that might interest others. Huwag mo ipagdamot yung mga alam mo at kung ano ang meron ka. Exchange knowledge and resources can help you and others to grow professionally. Kagaya ng sinisimulan kong gawin ngayon ang paggawa ng mga vlogs, I wanted to share my experiences all my failures and achievements from the beginning of my journey in my profession. I wanted to inspire and touch lives of others and help in best possible way. Number six, do not work for money. Yes, money is the basic necessity for us to survive. But when you are new in your profession, huwag ka muna maghangad ng malaking sweldo. Look for a job na sa tingin mo ay nandun ang interes mo or yun yung right job para ma-develop ka professionally. If the companies used to evaluate us para tanggapin nila tayo, ganun din dapat tayo. Evaluate mo muna yung isang company bago ka mag-apply. Huwag basta hiring, apply agad. When you are applying for a job, they will ask you what did you know about their company. Because they are also looking for someone who is really have an interest to be part of their company. Someday, better opportunities, higher salaries, awaits you. Number seven, it's okay to quit. Okay lang na mag-quit sa work. You will be no longer 100% functional kapag hindi ka na masaya sa sitwasyon mo. But, have your timeline. Hindi naman pwede all throughout of your entire career palipat-lipat ka ng job. Have a job where you wanted to settle. Yung trabaho na masaya ka in lot of different aspects like salary, career growth, passion, accessibility, and most importantly, yung trabaho na masaya ka. That's all for my today's video and see you again for another engineering series.